Hi, this is Ty Hyderali. I'm a plaintiff's lawyer. We concentrate in employment law in New Jersey and New York. And very interesting case that came down from the New Jersey Supreme Court having to do with overtime and the trucking industry. And the question was, in that case, uh, was the milking company milking its employees uh, from overtime? And so in this case, the defendant is a company called Cremo Land, and the plaintiff was one of its employees, Elmer Branch. And Elmer Branch brought a lawsuit on behalf of, him, of himself and others similarly situated, saying in essence that Cremo Land was not paying overtime as it was required to do under the New Jersey Wage and Hour Law. So the New Jersey Wage and Hour Law is basically saying in essence that if you are an employer in New Jersey and you have employees who are working more than 40 hours in a work week, you have to pay time and a half times their hourly rate of pay. Well, there's an exception to that rule for members in the trucking industry, unfortunately for members in the trucking industry. And what that exception says is that if you are working more than 40 hours in any given work week, time and a half is times minimum wage, not your hourly rate of pay, which is a significant issue because in New Jersey, ZipRecruiter uh, states that the average rate of pay for a truck driver in New Jersey is around $24.76. Compare that to a minimum wage in New Jersey, which is $12 an hour. So you can see major difference between whether you get paid uh, time and a half times your hourly rate of pay as opposed to the minimum wage. And so Cremo Land in this case contended that uh, it fell within the exception of a uh, trucking company in that it was engaged in the interstate commerce and the delivery of items, as well as warehousing and storaging. And all that goes into the definition of what a trucking company is. And they relied upon uh, some opinions they received from the Department of Labor, the New Jersey Department of Labor. Trial court bought it and said, case over. Appellate court, court said, not so fast. Uh, let's look and see what you're relying on that you got from the New Jersey Department of Labor. And it basically was this written, uh, handwritten document uh, from one examiner. Another was an email from the chief of the Wage and Hour Bureau. And another was another opinion letter. But nothing from the commissioner uh, himself stating that Creamerland is, uh, falls within this exemption. And so the appellate court said, that is not a bona fide reason to contend that you're excluded uh, from the uh, requirement to pay time and a half times your hourly rate of pay. And uh, this is really a determination that needs to be made by the trial court. Criminal Land appealed it to the New Jersey Supreme Court, which uh, agreed in essence with the appellate court and really looked at this issue of, you know, what is a bona fide uh, exemption and what do companies need to say they squarely fall within the protections of the exemption. And in essence said, you know, handwritten note, emails, not enough. You need something a little more uh, formal from the agency itself. So, um, you know, the case goes forward and uh, we'll see what happens with regard to number one, is Creamerland um, exempted from having to pay time and a half times its uh, regular rate of pay for its employees? Uh, and therefore, was it uh, milking its employees uh, or or was Creamerland correct in saying uh, we fall within the protections of the exemption? This is Ty Hyderali. Be safe and be well.